Hey everybody, Scott Kelby here from KelbyOne.com, where people go to get insanely good at <laughs> Lightroom and Photoshop and all that stuff. Hey, I got a, a really cool effect for you. So this is an effect that you would normally go to Photoshop for to use a special blur filter called the Tilt Shift Blur Filter. Notice how carefully I said that. Anyway, so uh, it, is a, it is a filter in Photoshop that's designed to give you the, the tilt shift effect, which is normally used today with outside of the camera, but it's used uh, to create the little tiny town, like, like to take the scene you're having and make it look like a tiny model, like a small model. Uh, and this will make more sense when you see it in just a moment, but uh, we don't have to use that filter. You don't have to go to Photoshop. You can do something very similar here in Lightroom. Now, I will tell you one reason you might want to go to Photoshop briefly or something is this uh, technique tends to work better on lower resolution images, like images you're going to use for the web. So what I would do when I want to do this effect is I would go ahead and resize, save my image as a low res JPEG, like whatever size you're going to show it on the web. Like if you were on Instagram, it would be 1080 pixels wide, right? So something like that. Once you have it sized down like that, then the effect works really well. And this one's about a 1200 pixel image, but uh, that's you wouldn't you would hardly get it that big on the web, right? But anyway, here's what you do. You're going to use the graduated filter tool up here. Double click on effect so all the sliders go to zero. You're going to take clarity and go to minus 100. You're going to take sharpness and go to minus 100, and this kind of creates a blur effect. Then you're going to take the tool here and we're going to drag it, and you can see it gets really blurry up there. And we're going to kind of drag it down to where we have this little area that's clear in the middle and I make it a little more abrupt by dragging the bottom and moving it up like that. So this little area that transitions from very blurry to clear is um, small. Then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make a new one and go down this direction because you just want basically a strip in the middle that's kind of clean. So let's go from this direction. Same thing, kind of short like that. And it creates the, oh, look, it's little people and little trees and gives you that tiny town effect. Now, if you are using a higher resolution image and you want this amount of blur, what you can do is go to one of them, right click and choose duplicate and it will stack up the effect. So it's, it's, you don't need it on these lower resolution images, but on a higher res, you'll have to do that. But basically, that's how you get the little tiny town effect where these look like little toy people and toy cars and toy trees and stuff so uh so that's it that's how it's done you're going to use the gradient tool you're going to uh drag up and drag down you're going to leave that little strip in the middle for the tilt shift effect all right well thanks for checking that out hey um if you're into lightroom i want to invite you to come and check out the photoshop world conference it is in Orlando, Florida, and is the only conference we're doing this year. We'll only be in Orlando. We're not doing Las Vegas this year, just Orlando. So we're going to be there uh, April 20th through 22nd, and we have a Lightroom training track that runs the entire conference every day, all day, Lightroom. And people teaching there will be like myself and Matt Klaskowski and Serge Ramali and Rob Sylvan and uh, many other of the... Uh, leading and most popular Lightroom instructors and would love to see you there. Go to photoshopworld.com for all the details. And if you uh, register now, you can save a hundred bucks by registering early. So go check that out. We hope to see you in Orlando in April. All right, we'll catch you guys next time.